exciting developments here at Derwent with the new water brushes. We've been working to improve these. You can see we've got the original, we've got a fine tip brush, number one. We've got a medium tip brush, number two. And the extra member of this family now is the chisel tip. So it's much a squarer brush on the end of that one. Not only that, but you've also got the opportunity to get all three in our multi-pack set. So, first things first, you can see we've got a lovely shape to the barrel here and a nice grip point where we hold it. You'll also notice that each one has got a different number on it in a different colour, so it's really easy to distinguish between each one. We're not searching for different coloured lids or anything like that. It's all on the barrel and easy to recognise. The lid here as well, we've, you'll notice nothing's going to roll off the edge of the paper here. We've got a square point on this lid that keeps things still if you're on a slight slope. Take the lid off and the lid just neatly clips onto the end of the barrel. So all three have the same reservoir, so interchangeable if you like, and really easy to fill. All we do is unscrew the, the barrel nice and simple and we just tip the water straight in there. A little tip if you're struggling to get the water to go in is just to give it a little squeeze as you go along and release the airlocks that you sometimes get when you've got a big tap pouring in there. If you can get a fine point on your tap then everything goes in nice and easy anyway. So let's give them a try. A few petals here, that'll, that's something nice and simple so you can see the water brushes in action. I'm going to roughly shade these in so you can see how they can be used to paint with. So that, I mean water brushes are so popular with people working in pencil because it avoids having to mess around with a paintbrush in a pot, dipping your paintbrush in and out. You've just got your water in your brush, give it a little squeeze and you're ready to go. So there's a quick little flower. Let's start off with the fine one then. So if I give that a little squeeze here, see the water start to come out. I'm just using ink tents here and I'm easily able to spread that around. I can keep right along the lines if I want to with this beautiful fine point. I think, it's, to me, it feels even finer than the last water brushes that we had. It's so nice to use. I might use that just to go around the edges of the petals, for instance. If you're working in detail, it's just a fantastic little brush. Okay. So that's the fine point. Let's take out our medium brush. So you can see the difference here in the sizes of the tips. We've got a really fine and we've got our medium, which is um, a fair, well, almost double the size, I would say. Okay, so let's... Try this one out as well, exactly the same, you can give it a quick squeeze, get the water moving through and then we can use that to spread that water around. Really, really lovely to use. Okay. And finally we've got the chisel tip water brush, uh, which you can see the difference here. Again, we've got a lovely flat uh, brush head here. Again, same thing, we'll just give it a little squeeze, get the water moving. And then we can just start playing around with that. So if I want to, you know, you can just get really big wide lines in with this. You know, for it, if I want to add a bit of there, it's almost like calligraphy. There we have it, our set of three new water brushes, beautiful tips to work with and they really are a dream to work with any water soluble media.